Turning to local coverage now, we're tracking the latest developments on the plan to toll drivers on the Sakonet River Bridge. Right now, we want to show you some live pictures of the bridge from our DOT cameras where crews began work to install toll equipment there last night. We've also learned about a new effort, though, to try to halt that construction. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Addison has those details now live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Andrew? Good morning, Danielle. Well, way off in the distance behind me, you can see that new Sakonet River Bridge back there. Construction already well underway on the new bridge toll project. And actually, residents around here, they are not happy about it at all. In fact, the town of Portsmouth, they've already filed a, a temporary restraining order against the implementation of bridge tolls. This comes just a day after the Rhode Island Turnpike and Bridge Authority announced that they were constructing this new toll system. A road, a round trip on the Sakonet River Bridge would run about a dollar fifty with an easy pass and more than five bucks without one. Transportation officials say toll revenues are necessary to maintain the new bridge, while residents worry it could make everyday life much more costly. There should be no toll on there. It's going to be terrible for elderly people who have doctors over here. There's an awful lot of waste in this state. We never address it. You know, we just continue to keep bumping things up and bumping things up. Now, these bridge tolls aren't scheduled to go into effect until July, but there are some legal hurdles that could prevent that from happening. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to tell you how these tolls are scheduled to be collected. For now, live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.